Working with VirtuMark can be a little bit confusing at first, so I'm just going to give you a brief tutorial about ways to just jump in and do the basic functions that you're going to need to do. Checking your orders, as well as adding a new product. So the first thing you do, do is you go to yourdomain.com slash administrator, enter your username and password, and click login. This brings you to the configuration, the, your main control panel of your screen. From here, we're going to click on Components, VirtuMart, and this will load all of your shopping software in this rather confusing looking panel. On the left hand side, we see a list of different divisions. We can go right into your orders here, click List Orders, and it will show you all of the most recent orders as well as their status. You'll see this one is pending, it never did finalize. This one is confirmed, that means it went out to your your pay payment software, took the order, came back to your website and confirmed that the payment was completed. You can then click on the order number, and this is just a sample order we've put in here. You'll see a lot of blanks because I didn't enter all that personal information. We can then print this off if we would like to. We can see exactly what was ordered and all of the totals, the shipping and the taxes included. You can go to your print view in order to print that in a nicer format. You can also change your status so that it's already shipped and that will let you know what things need to be dealt with and what don't. The next thing you're really going to want to do is to be able to work with your products. On the left side we click on products, list products. This again will bring up a list of products that we can click on the name of them to go in and edit. So if we wanted to edit the price or the spelling or anything on a specific product, we just click on the name and it will reload the page with the complete list of things that can be edited in here. So we can change the SKU or the SKU number, change the name, change the price. We have a place for short description in here. You might want to add a period in that. We can also, down here, put any product description we want. I try to keep this fairly simple, but if there's a PDF file or something that you wanted to link to, or even a, a video that shows the product in use, you can put that right in here, because I'm using the G JCE editor on this site. I would then click Save if I was done. You'll notice also, though, under Product Status is where I put all the attributes. So if I go to the Product Status tab, there's an attribute list that I typed in. I put in size, and then I can add properties. So in my case, the properties are the different sizes. I'm going to take you through, step by step, how to add a new product. So if we just landed in Components VirtuMart, which is where we are now, we would click again on your Products link over on the left-hand side, and then we could just click Add a Product, or we can go to the List Products. If we go to the list products, it brings up that list again, and in the top right corner we see what's called a contextual menu. Depending on where you are in Joomla, this menu is always with you, but it changes to give you options. I'm going to click New in here, and this will allow me to add a complete new product. And We're going to go step by step through this process adding one of your products. So I'm going to give it a new SKU. I'm going to give it a name. and a price, a short description. This will show on the main category listening page. And then the longer description will show inside when you're clicking on the details information for the individual product. I have to put it in a category or it's not going to show up. So now I've got my SKU, my name, my price, short description, longer description, and I've put it in a category. And of course, you would actually put in descriptions in here. This is just for expediency. Display options, I'm not going to change anything in here. Product status is where I add the size. You'll see there's my attribute list. So I'm going to put in the word size, exactly how I want it to display. And I'm going to say that I have three sizes. So I need three properties. I'm going to add size 3, size 4, and size 5. Now provided this is always going to be the same price and not change anything. I can add inline prices or I don't have to. I'm going to put in 12, 12, 
for the number of the cost of this. So $12 for a size 3, $12 for a size 4, and I'm going to say that the size 5 takes more packaging, and it's going to be $14. So I can do that. Otherwise, I could have just left that as a 12. The last thing to do is add a product image. So I click on the product images tab, and I can click browse to go right to my hard drive and jump into a picture of my product. You'll see that it asks, do I want to auto-create a thumbnail? I do, because I haven't created my own cropped-in thumbnail image. This is the fastest way to do it. As soon as I hit Apply over here, it's going to make all my changes and create that product and make it live. So I hit Apply. I could hit Save if I'm sure that I'm all done, but it's nice to hit Apply and then just be able to double-check and make sure everything has saved the way that I wanted it to. So all of this I know is going to be correct. But when I go to product images, there's my lovely big image. And because it is large, it takes up a fair amount of space. So now I'm going to hit save. And then I can actually go over to the website and go to the patterns link on your website or your store link on your website. And I can scroll down and see there's the pattern I just added. Sample pattern. It made this little thumbnail. There's the short description I typed. If I go into product details, then I'll see the full piece. I can click the full size image, and there it is. It's beautiful. I'll go back to my back button and come back to your main information. I also see that the sizes I created are here. If I choose a size 4, I can click Add to Cart and purchase this and it's all showing up so I can see that it's keeping track that it's a sample pattern, size 4, what the price was, and then I can go and check out at Virtue Mart and I'm completely finished. And that is all that's involved in working with your products. If you come back to your product list, remember you can edit them here. If you have additional images though, for instance the quilter's quarters dress here, we see that we have some additional images. I've added two more images in there beyond the basic two that show up. You can click on this media link and it will pop up another little window that allows you to browse for another image on your computer and add it to the existing images. That will just show up some extra thumbnails when you're in the detail view that you can then also view as large images. This is very handy if you've got some other shots of different fabrics or different sides or different views depending on what your product is. The next thing I want to show you is just how to edit the pages on your website. In Joomla, pages are considered articles in general. Sometimes you'll find that your page will be a component like VirtuMart. VirtuMart is one of the pages on your site, but it's not an article. But generally, anything that just looks like text or pictures or has some video in it, things like that, will be found from logging into your back end. So you go to your website slash administrator and log in with your username and password. You land on this control panel again. In this case, we're going to click on Article Manager, though. This will get us in to see all of the basic pages on your website so that you can come in here and edit them. For instance, your privacy policy, return policy, size chart, customer service, all of these, including the About Jane Ross, are sitting in this Article Manager. I click on the name of it, and it will reload that entire content into a a method that I can edit. It looks kind of like Microsoft Word. It doesn't work exactly the same way as Word does, but you'll see a lot of similar bits and pieces to it. So I can just type anything in here. I can highlight it, type over top of it. I can also do a spell check with this little icon in case I'm concerned. I can add numbered lists and bulleted lists, cut and paste. I can include headings and so I can change from a paragraph to a heading 1, 2, or 3. And I advise if you do want to put headings in, call them a heading 1 or heading 2 because that's much better for search engine optimizing. Or if I'm just doing something inside, I might want to highlight something with bold. I might want to change the color of it up here so I could change this to red. I could make it bold. Things like that will help it st stand out a little bit better. I can also click on this little blue arrow to undo anything that I have done so far. To change images is a little bit trickier. So, for instance, if I wanted to change this image, I would click on it once, and then I would click on this little icon in the bottom row, second one in from the right, which is your Insert Edit Image. 
it brings up this little panel here that allows me to look on the website. So here are all the folders on the website. Here's the list of, of pictures that are currently there. And I can see a preview whenever I click on one of these names. I can see a preview on the right hand side of what that picture actually looks like. Now currently it's janeross.jpg and I can see in the URL bar up here that that's where it's looking on your site is for Jane Ross. I can also see that it's aligned to the right. This preview over here shows me what my image is going to look like. For instance, if I change it to the left, that preview changes so I can get a kind of an idea of what that's going to look like. Now if I have another image I want to put in, I can actually click on this icon right here. This is the upload image icon. When I click on it, it pops up a panel that lets me browse using the add button. And I can browse on my own computer to find some different pictures that I would like to have. So I could go right into your images folder here and look through and see what beautiful images we've already got. And then I can upload them directly to your website from here. So for instance, if I wanted to put this bride up, I'd click Add. It shows up in the queue list down here. I can then add more if I want to. I'm just going to stick with this one. And I click this Upload button at the bottom. When it's finished uploading, it shows a green check mark here. I can then close this with, by hitting the X, and I'm back to this panel. If I look, it still says it's showing Jane Ross. All I've done is upload. I haven't selected that new image. As soon as I click Bride Small, it fills it in up here, changes the size, but keeps the alignment I'd already chosen. Now I'm going to have to scroll down a little bit to hit the Update button, and you'll see that that image is now changed to the one that I want. It's the same thing to add another image. So if I wanted to then add a new image, click the same button, click that Upload button, browse to wherever I have on the computer, that image that I want to put in, double click on it to make it show up in the queue, click upload. The green check mark shows me it's there. I can close that now. Still isn't showing up here. All I've done is upload it, so I click on the name of what I just uploaded. It fills everything in up top, showing me that my alignment is kind of wonky. So I want to left align this one. And I even want to add a little bit of spacing. You see how that text is jammed up against the picture? I'm going to get rid of this equal values. I just want spacing on the right hand side. I'm going to fill in about 8 pixels. When I click into another box, I can see how that's going to work. Again, I'm going to scroll down a little bit so I can hit the insert key. And there I've got two images in here. Now, all I've done is do some editing. It's not saved yet. In order to save, I have to scroll back up to the top. And on the right hand side, I see these menu pieces here, these little icons that are a contextual menu for art article editing. Now if I actually wanted to say that this was a picture of you, I would hit save or apply. If I want to keep editing, I just hit apply and it will save all the changes but keep me on this page. If I'm all done, I would hit save. In my case, I'm actually going to hit close. That will not save the changes. I don't want those saved because, of course, that doesn't look like you. So the next thing I can do as well is I can hit this preview button to open the site in a new tab or a new window and see how it's looking. So I'll click on preview. Now, because your site is not live yet, I'm going to type in index.php to help me get right into that Joomla website. Let that load and here's your site looking beautiful. Now when I click on about Jane Ross, you'll see, although I was making those little changes, because I did not hit save, they don't actually exist on the site. It's still the picture of you in here. Now, if you want to just play around with this, what you can do is just make a new article. And you can play with all of the different settings in here and just test it out. Unless you actually link it up in the menu, it's not going to show up on your website. Uh, you can create as many articles as you would like and just put them in the uncategorized section. Give it a name like testing. And you can type things in, put in smileys, go crazy. I don't suggest you put smileys on your real site, but sometimes you might want to, only on a page that's really kind of personal and friendly. And do some typing and play around with it and, and see how that works. 
gives you a chance to experiment. You can hit save and keep this page. It's not going to be available. No one will see it. But it gives you a chance just to experiment with the different pieces here. Now I see that testing is available in the list in your article manager. You can come back anytime and click on that and play around with your article manager a little bit more. And there are quite a few things that you'll see. There's a lot of icons up here to play with. So you can put in a table, for instance. This, If you mouse over, you'll show it shows the tooltip for each icon so you can see what each of these will do. Preview, um, change your font color up here, select your text color. You can paste as plain text. If you're copying something from Word and pasting it in here, you can either click paste from Word or paste from text instead of just pasting so that you make sure that you're not carrying across the HTML that Word is writing and messing up your website. So I always advise paste from Word or paste from text is a good idea in that case. And you just click on that, it'll pop up a little section for you to just right click paste or control V as it shows here to put the contents of your, your clipboard into this text and then hit insert and it'll be done. And again, you just hit save when you're all done and all of your changes will be committed to your database. And that's all there is to it. So you can come in here and edit any of the pages on your website just by clicking on the name in Article Manager, which we got through from the main control panel on your Joomla site in your administration section. There it is again, Article Manager.